Yeah. Also, I love Clue's Clue's really? T-shirt is so cool. Yeah, that's that is awesome. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh, all right. I was wondering, like, wow. You know, Omega's good, but I thought, like, I for <laughs> I kind of forgot that Absent Page was here. Man, okay, so Omega beat Absent Page in quarters. And uh, looking at the TV right now, it's Ike vs. Sheik. So, still Sheik. though, I was I was playing Omega in Sheik Ike earlier today in friendlies, and I was beating him. Well, I so, thought you were saying this one was going to be Sheik Ike. I was going to oh say no. I didn't even know that I was no, who had I, a Sheik. Nah, but, uh, he doesn't. But okay, so Absent Page. Absent Page went Sheik. I think, it, oh my gosh, just <laughs> fair walls. It's like Puff. <laughs> facing oh forward. Oh my god. <laughs> Omega was just holding in for dear life. Yeah, so I was gonna say Absent Page is going all chic today, apparently. Okay. okay. And he's he's committed to it. So anyway, we have this set now. Oh man. Oh wow. So yeah, even just waking up to a really slow start, if he like he was able to get Kirby right over by that blast zone and put a large sword in front of him. Yep. Got in the stock first. Oh, I think he called out a shield grab there. I think the timing would have worked out, but Omega just waited. Probably not supposed to be a forward smash there. Did he get his jump back? No, I don't think so. Maybe he did. Either way, Glue got, uh, got the edge guard. Kirby can go deep pretty comfortably. Yep. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough up to edge guard, but in the process, Astro Shiku got some good percent. Um, yeah. Just make it more worth. Second hit up air. So strong. I think it's stronger than Fox's up air. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, real good. Oh, yeah. and he had the read just yep. a little bit missed space. And yeah, it's kind of like the Falco thing or the Fox thing where, like, forward smash moves you forward a little bit. Yep, yep. Falls down with the Nair, it gets away with it. And man, yeah, the Nair's from Ike too. Just like, yeah, among he, his slow aerials, like, he gets a fast start up, that thing combos so nicely. Yeah, yeah, he definitely has some Nair playing combos like Fox. But it's more vertical than a horizontal most of the time. Uh, he could have wall jumped after that side B. Kind of hard timing, but he could have done it. Yeah, Kirby down tilting Ike's shield is very hard to deal with as Ike. You can't grab it, you can't really like use an aerial. And it's typically probably best what to just wave dash away and wave dash or roll. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. A little too far away. So can you not grab it because uh, Kirby's crouching and he's too low to grab? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. not that down tilt is like safe on shield. It's safe on shield because he can just crouch. Yep, yep. <laughs> So it's kind of like the puff, like just crouch in front of your shield pressure. Yep. But, yep. Uh, but Kirby can actually down move. tilt is useful. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> of course, he doesn't get rest. Yeah. But still, so that threat. It's a trade-off. You get a nice amazing. spammable move. Like roll. Yeah, you were hitting a lot of rest and doubles today. That was super fun to watch. Ooh, bad DI. Yeah, one, on the one, yeah there. after the warm-up got a little better. Oh, that, but yeah, man. The single hit of the down air is enough. Because Kirby's dare is a meteor that actually scales with percentage. Okay. I, I think didn't it know does that. in melee too. That's why like if you get hit with a single hit and you just go flying down <laughs> if you're at a high percent. Yeah, glue one game one. Uh I would go Green Hill if I were Ike. Just yep. for the, the tight side blast zones, maybe? Yeah, that skills. and yeah. The, uh, the nice walls to help you recover. Yep. Yep. Both of them super good. But yeah, we'll see what he's able to do here. Like, despite being a two stock, that first game did look like. Uh, yeah, they Omega were both kind of beating each other bit. up. Yeah. yeah. Good job not jumping into that forward air. Ooh, oh, I like I like the Nair afterwards. It's a combo extender. Yep, but it's a little too laggy. Actually gets the grab, yeah, it was I think he I'm not really sure what Glue was trying to do there. He tried to cross him up, but Omega was facing the other way already, so 
Oh man. Weak back air? Yeah, not quite enough. Wow, super good trade. Brave, yeah. That was so but that good. worked out for the Kirby. Yep. Yeah, as Swordsman, like all the Fire Emblem characters, you don't want Kirby to be near you, which is kind of counterintuitive. You want him to be, like, just outside the range of your sword, kind of. Um, but Kirby has a couple options of, like, he has burst movement options. Uh, horizontal up B, dash attack, dash lock off platforms um, to kind of invade your space. As long as you're ready for it and can stuff it out with the move, because you have a sword, right? Like, yep, it's yep. not that hard. Oh, that man. looked like a spike, and then he <laughs> killed himself. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> that was cool, and then it wasn't very cool because he killed himself afterwards. Oh well, waits out the up tilt. Oh man, yep. Wall of pain. Um, if I were to give glue advice, I would say, uh, like, once you get in, uh, stop up tilting so much. Rather, stop up tilting shields. You should condition them to expect the up tilt, but then grab. You up tilt okay, too much. You so hit people's shields too much. Get more of a grab than than the up tilt. <laughs> Not necessarily, but people like I can just hold shield against glue a lot and get away with it because he won't okay. grab. He won't just call out your shield with a grab enough. So I feel pretty safe shielding. But anyway, um, so we saw that wall of pain edge guard from glue to take that last stock. And that's one thing Omega has a habit of, good or bad, is side being from ledge to the stage and using the like the attack out yep, of quick draw. Yep. A lot of the time you can just kind of wave dash back and uh, punish him for it. It has a lot of lag. Yeah, so Oscu taking another game. Uh, yep. Omega with the frame perfect LRA start. Yeah, it's a lot easier with PM. Quick. Oh, okay, okay. As with a lot of tech <laughs> compared to melee. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, two up tilts, that's usually pretty guaranteed. Unless you have amazing, like, 64 levels of DI. Smash yeah. DI, I mean. Oh, I, don't, man. I don't think that was intentional. Yeah, but. <laughs> you must have been trying to fall through back air maybe, right? Yeah, but yeah. Or forward air, either you know, way. Gets a free... Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, yeah, we saw oh. there. Omega was at zero, so the down air didn't really send him anywhere. At 80, though, that would have killed. Yep, good dash dance. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to punish the horizontal up B, but it's kind of hard. Kirby's aerials don't have very much end lag, or uh, landing lag, so uh, you have to be really tight with your dash dance, especially since he can just crouch, like, immediately after his aerial. <laughs> and what's super annoying is that Kirby, on some of his aerials, he, like, crouches as part of the landing animation. Oh, okay. So you yep, can't, yep. like, grab it, even though he's in lag. It's so frustrating. And I know, I, I imagine the same PM just because um, it exists in melee, but when he lands with a forward air, it has a landing hit box? That's actually not in PM. No, okay. Yeah, that's okay. one of the weird things that they took out. Gotcha. So I know that trick a lot of people who are trying to get quick, um, like, you know, shines out of shield or yep. as, as, um, on Kirby, but... Oh, okay. good stage spikes. Wow, that had a lot of hit stone. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Uh, hammer. React, hammer yeah. is kind of a kind of unnecessary. I think Omega's at 130. You don't really need a hammer, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, for another Hail Mary, one in neutral, but uh, I would have down smashed there, but whatever. Oh, it just barely misses. <laughs> Goes for the crouch. That's such a good like defensive option. Yeah. You can actually yep. like if you're being tech chased by an Ike. Or a Marth or a Roy, you can wake up Crouch <laughs> instead of wake up like Shine or wake up Spot Dodge. <laughs> it's so good. Same I gotta, with uh, I gotta do that with Jigs, yeah. Yeah, because no Crouch. Yeah, people love to run in and grab right as you wake up. So yep. that's <laughs> yeah, and then you can hilarious. just rest afterwards. Yeah. Oops, sorry. All right, yeah, uh, definitely no follow-ups off of up throw. Not against Kirby. Kirby always has one jump after he uses his side cutter. Okay, I didn't know that. Unless he, like, uses all of his jumps before then, of course. Oh, magnet hands to the ledge. Glue's been doing well to uh, get out of the up B, like, the up B tornado, kind of. I think he's SDIing out, like, straight left or right. 
He actually got the kill because of that on the last stock. Uh, oh, wow, good DI. So this is tournament stock for Omega. Um, nice, gets yeah, the DI yeah, mix up. That's a good conversion. I think Lou should have DI'd left either way because it would have been hard for Ike to get the running start he needed like off stage. But I don't know, Omega threw him pretty fast, so. So uh, what do you think Astro's Glue was DI'ing for? Back throw, I think. Okay. Yeah, because okay. forward throw and back throw are DI mix-ups. Yep, but, uh, yep. you know, obviously there's, like, some bias either way. Like, if you're at the edge of the stage, it's not, like, a true 50-50, you know? Yep, exactly. Good spacing by Glue. Oh, oh man. Did he lose his jump? I think he might have. Yep, yep. Dang. A little too far to side B. All right, so that was a close 3-0, yep, I would say. Yep, absolutely.